Hey, I'm Dr. Toby, physical therapist and health coach, and welcome to the Rehab Mobile channel. In this video, I wanna show you how you can stop your knee from buckling. This is a challenge for you. So if you're somebody who's had difficulty going up and down the stairs or walking for long periods or just doing basic daily activities, and your knee sometimes will just buckle out or come out from under you and you don't know what to do about it and you're worried about your knee becoming an issue, this video is going to be very helpful for you. By the way, you can subscribe to our channel if you are somebody who wants to stay healthy, pain-free, fit, and mobile. We make videos on how to do just that. So subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on some helpful resources that are gonna benefit you. All right, let's get right into today's topic. A lot of people, um, as they maybe age or get older, or maybe they have put on different amounts of weight and things like that, start to experience buckling in their knee. And this can be for several reasons. I'm gonna show you a couple of different things in this video about what you can do. And different things work for different people depending on your situation and the actual root issue of what's going on. The best way to know what's gonna work for you is actually to talk to a PT first so that you can share your specific story, share what's going on with you, share how this has happened because that's gonna give you the quickest way to the most specific information that's gonna help you particularly in your situation. So if you wanna to talk to a PT first, hit the link in the description and we would love to help you out. Our team of therapists uh, are really excited to help people see improvements in their lives in different areas and it's 100% free. It doesn't take long to fill the form out. It takes about 10 to 15 seconds and we would love to help you out. So. One of the things that I'm going to show you is a series of different exercises you can do right from home, but it's imperative that you do these in a safe way. And this is for educational purposes only. So again, if you want prescriptive or something specific to your situation, you want to get specific guidance and reach out to one of our team members. So uh, let's get right into today's video. All right. So I want to show you the first activity that's going to be helpful for you if you've had difficulty with knee pain, knee buckling, things of that nature. And here's what you want to focus on. So number one, uh, what you want to really do, a lot of times the underlying issue is going to be weakness from our hips, weakness from our knees, and just uh, poor ways of getting up over the past that has led to weakness in certain areas that are important for stability. So what I'm going to show you is a way that you can retrain your body to not have your knee buckle anymore, but different levels of activity or different types of exercises like the one I'm going to show are for different people of different levels and abilities. So if this is difficult for you, then that's okay, that just means you need specific guidance on what you uh, can do. So what I'm gonna show you here is a perfect a squat. So one of the things you're gonna do is you're gonna reach your bottom back. So what I have here is I have a chair here, and most people have chairs in their houses, in their dining room, things like that. So this is an exercise you can do right from home. Um, but what you wanna make sure is number one, depending on the kind of surface of the floor, you don't want this chair to slide back. This is a safety chair. So you're gonna have this chair here and you'll see why we have it there just in case. But I have a weight blocking it. So some people, you'd want to have this chair ideally against the wall or get something that's gonna protect you from falling or sliding back if the case you need to sit in the chair. So what you're gonna be doing is holding on to this chair and this is gonna be helpful for people who are maybe a little bit older or have difficulty in terms of uh, certain things that they wanna do. Again, this is for the purpose of education only, not for your specific intervention. Uh, but one of the things we have our patients to do is holding on to that chair and reaching their bottom back. Right. As you can see, I'm not trying to bend my knees. Most people, they just want to bend their knees like this. Right. But just keep your knees straight and stick your bottom back. Right. And what you want to do right there is stay right there. You can hold on to the chair, hold that position maybe for about 10 seconds. Right. And again, this chair is here in the case if I need to sit down and take a break or if I feel like my knee buckles out or gives out under me. So. You can get pretty close to the chair. You can even have the chair right by your legs and sit back, holding that position. Practice holding that. Do it for 10 seconds. As you come up, push your hips forward and squeeze your bottom. Stand up nice and tall. So squeeze and also squeeze your legs too, All right? So that's an important or helpful exercise that can be done when it comes to standing for longer periods of time. The other thing that you want to consider or do, again, having a chair by you, you can make sure that the chair is there. Again, it needs to be against something that's firm, but you can focus on standing on one leg, holding with two hands, getting that leg comfortable, being on one leg, stabilizing, getting those muscles working, and you wanna make sure that as you stand on that one leg that your hip isn't dropping like this, that your hip is nice and up, not sagging. You want it up to get those hip muscles strengthened to help you out. So having a chair in front of you and holding up just like that, right? 
And just so I know that the chair is where it needs to be, I can feel the back of the chair or the chair on the back of my leg and keep that hip up. It's gonna help build strength, build stability, endurance, and protection. Now these exercises can be very, very challenging for some people depending on how uh, severe the knee buckling has become or how severe it is. There are some other things that you can uh, do, which I will demonstrate in a moment. But one of the things you want to really start off with is doing this exercises that are going to help increase the stability and the strength of the knee and the uh, hip. So I'll show you another exercise. So one of the most basic things you can do is a quad set, right? So if you are uh, on your bed or sitting down, laying down, let's see, assume this is the leg that has discomfort. What I'm going to do is push my knee straight down to the table or to the ground and I'm tightening this muscle, squeezing it nice and hard, pointing your ankle back toward you, hold that muscle nice and tight, holding it for 10 seconds, right? Initially it may feel discomfort because what you're doing is you are closing up that joint and stabilizing these muscles and you want to hold that for 10 seconds and then relax, start off with five and do another set of five after you rest. But that's going to be really helpful to build that strength. And the good news is that this is not an activity in standing, so you don't have to worry about your knee buckling on you or giving out, things of that nature. So this is a really low level basic exercise, but this is what we do with athletes who are just after a surgery and have difficulty with their knee buckling after an ACL surgery or things like that. This is one of the most important helpful exercises for building that muscle strength and getting your muscle to be re-educated for sustaining longer contractions that will prevent you from buckling eventually when you're doing other activities. So uh, you can progress this activity to putting like a pillow or something that can give some resistance, um, like a, maybe like a squeezy ball, so that way you have some resistance under it. But this is a great way to kind of start off and get you uh, feeling better without having discomfort in your knee or having that knee buckling. So. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, like it and let us know in the comments what was most helpful about it. Maybe you have a question or maybe you're like, well, this hasn't worked for me or doesn't work for me. It's not a problem. You just need someone to give you specific guidance in terms of what's going on with your situation. And we have so many resources available to you. Um, and so you can click the link in our description or you can reach out to us through the instructions in our description to help you get some specific information so that your knee can stop buckling. You can stop having the fear of falling and hurting yourself and uh, you know getting into some type of more severe uh, accident or uh, issue. So again, if you found this video helpful and know somebody can benefit from it, again, this is for the purposes of education and giving you that awareness that there are things out there that can help you. Uh, this is by no means prescriptive for your specific situation. There may be another root issue of what's causing your uh, challenge, but there are so many things out there that can help you and we've helped literally thousands of patients who've had these same kind of issues and they've gone on to be able to get back to running and doing other activities without having the fear of falling or their knee buckling out from under them. So uh, like our video if you found it beneficial and educational. Leave a comment and share this video with somebody else. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And thanks for subscribing.